So, I'm Jay Cal, and I'm here to talk to y'all about vinyl, um, what you need to play it, collecting it, proper care, why you might be interested in it. Um, despite the fact it's old, it's still a really practical thing to consider investing in. Um, reasons why you might want to have it is because <coughs> it's vintage and some people are just kind of into that kind of thing. Other people like it because it's really high quality sound. Um, also, you can do a lot of cool stuff with them, like scratch with them, um, chop breaks and beats out of them, and make more music. Um, I personally like it just because of the rich sound. And, um, you can also convert it to MP3, which to quality transfers, and that's pretty nice. Um, but all these. Yeah, so that's why you should do trades. Um, um, what you'll need to do to get started is it's not it's not cheap, but it's all worth it. Is you'll need a turntable, stereo receiver, preamp, speakers. The, all that should come with cables to pick it up, and of course you'll need vinyls. Um, I need to talk to you a bit, Jake. Can I pull Jake up here? <laughs> Rude. Keep going, keep going. Um, anyways, um, a lot of the times so, though, it'll come with uh, like the preamp and the stereo receiver. Me personally, I had to buy the the preamp. That's just my setup, but it's pretty nice. Um, proper care. Um, store them vertically, like so, so that they won't warp over time. Don't leave them in the heat or the sunlight, or else this will fade, and also that'll warp your vinyls too. Um, wipe them off with like maybe a little dust rag, and you can get um, there's plenty of different stuff on the market to like clean them down with. If you use them a lot, and um, yeah, I mean basically after you know that stuff, there's not really much you need to know other than have a good taste of music. And it's a really good investment that a lot of them end up being worth a lot, like there's singles and stuff that run for like $600 at, at one point in time or three. So, yeah, uh, enjoy.